Item Number SCP-7980 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-7980 is to be contained on site, owing to both physical dimensions and possible effects of deconstruction and reconstruction necessary for transportation. Continuous observation of inner sections is to be maintained at all times. Outer sections are to be monitored under standard large-scale site protocols LSSA-4, and are to be escalated to active protocols LSSA-1 during all testing and exploration events. No staff are to remain within SCP-7980 for a period of longer than 24 hours. All events or structures outside the standard configuration and cycles are to be logged, with direct action taken only after site oversight review and approval. Any anomalous broadcasts or communication anomalies determined to be outside standard cycles are to trigger an immediate 12-hour lockdown. Anomalies extending beyond this time frame will necessitate an evacuation and cycling of staff if possible, and extension of lockdown. A security perimeter of no less than 5 miles is to be maintained around SCP-7980's containment site. Any individuals or groups crossing this line are to be monitored. Any groups or individuals approaching within 3 miles of the site are to be intercepted and redirected, or incarcerated if resisting. Any individuals or groups approaching within one mile are to be terminated. Structural damage or decay is to be repaired only under site oversight approval. Any non-vital damage or decay is to be logged immediately upon discovery. Wounds, bleeding, infection, or aggressive growth of SCP-7980 organics are to be logged immediately, and any present staff cleared from the area until evaluation is rendered. Any increase of pulse rate or pressures beyond standard for a period of longer than one hour are to trigger an evacuation of all staff from intersections, to be maintained until rates return to standard levels for at minimum two hours. No cisgender female is allowed into the intersections of SCP-7980 for a period of longer than one hour, and only with a minimum of six security personnel present at all times. Any attempt by SCP-7980 to interact with or capture female staff will trigger an immediate evacuation of said staff from the site, and a 48-hour period of quarantine. Female staff exhibiting symptoms of infestation by SCP-7980 are to be terminated. Any functional tissues, organisms, or structures growing from, entering, exiting, or otherwise interacting with infested staff, living, or dead are to be immediately terminated, with remains, if possible, recovered for investigation and incineration. No samples are to be held for a period of longer than 48 hours. Any male staff exhibiting erratic and or aggressive behavior are to be removed and quarantined. Male staff exhibiting physical infestation by SCP-7980 are to be terminated. Description SCP-7980 is a structure outwardly appearing to be a ziggurat, the style of which directly matches no known civilization but has similarities to very early Mesopotamian works. While the upper internal structures appear to be related to religious ceremony, the bulk of the facility is a network of mechanical and organic structures. These structures extend for a significant distance, with over 32 kilometers of area so far mapped. However, due to the variable and at times hostile nature of some sections, consistent data is difficult to collect or estimate. Dating of the facility is similarly difficult, however, the outer sections have been tentatively dated at between 10,000 and 8,000 BC. Internal and lower areas vary wildly from this, particularly the organic sections, and it's theorized that SCP-7980 has undergone various periods of discovery, habitation, and disuse over the centuries. The ziggurat of SCP-7980 is currently located in an underground cave, accessible from a secondary, smaller cave system in the country of with the lower sections extending in a roughly spherical network below. Geological data from the area indicates that SCP-7980 may have at one point been located on the surface, but seismic events and shifting climate patterns may have partially buried SCP-7980. There is additional evidence indicating that SCP-7980 may have been excavated and reburied several times. Local information gathered from nearby population centers reveal the whole area as being considered cursed, and a resting place of various monsters and demons. 
Probing for information about the SCP-7980 site was met with resistance and, at times, hostility. However, there is no indication beyond rumor and local legend that these populations have any knowledge of SCP-7980 or its purpose. The lower sections of SCP-7980 appear to be some form of partially mechanical, partially organic facility, showing remarkably advanced construction and detail for the presumed age. Some areas appear to have been devoted to rituals or various rites, while others are purely functional and industrial. Many of these areas are still active, though many of their purposes are as of yet unknown. This is further complicated due to the encroachment of materials into one another, with organics and mechanics appearing to grow, damage, and convert the other constantly. In rough overview, the facilities mimic various biological and industrial systems, such as circulatory, respiratory, digestive, and reproductive systems, as well as heating, cooling, forging, assembly, and numerous others. Many of these systems also appear to have varying levels of damage or disruption, and attempts to repair them have met with very limited success. It is also unclear how materials and energy fuel these systems, though aspects of hydraulics, kinetic force, electricity, and temperature cycling have been noted. SCP-7980 is generally passive, especially in the upper levels, provided intruding subjects do not directly interact with SCP-7980 and are male. Females and those interacting with SCP-7980 structures begin to trigger increasingly hostile reactions, at times leading to construct formation in extreme cases. SCP-7980 does not appear to be possessed of will or thought, despite various neurological and processing structures found, and has not as of yet communicated with Foundation personnel. Data recovered from various locations indicate that SCP-7980 may be or have been capable of direct communication at one point, though the means are, as of yet, unknown. Reactions follow a pattern not unlike immune response, with more rapid and more aggressive reactions occurring in more sensitive and deeper sections. Though much of SCP-7980 and its purpose remain obscure, it appears one of the major functions of SCP-7980 is the creation and assembly of various forms of life. These take on an apparently limitless number of forms, with some identical to currently documented forms of life such as dogs, cattle, bats, snakes, rats, fish, and others. Some may superficially appear to be common life forms, but are made wholly or entirely of non-organic parts, or with random and seemingly nonsensical arrangement of internal and external organs, or various combinations. Some bear no documented analogs, and appear to function outside known laws and functions of both biology and physics. These constructs are almost invariably hostile, sometimes even to one another, and do not communicate in any meaningful fashion. Typically, constructs will violently attack intruders, then recover bodies, living or dead, to transport to the deepest core areas. Constructs are routinely broken down, reabsorbed, and repurposed by SCP-7980 when not actively defending SCP-7980. SCP-7980 will often attempt to capture intruders. Subjects will then typically be integrated with the overall structure of SCP-7980, or altered by mechanical or biological means into constructs. This behavior is most commonly exhibited with captured male subjects, or those involved in intrusion events while within SCP-7980. Female subjects are almost invariably drawn to the core sections and integrated, acting as assembly and birthing mediums for various constructs and systems until physical degradation. This typically lasts for a period of several months up to five years. However, documented cases lasting decades have been observed. Expended female subjects are then processed by SCP-7980, the remains of which are drawn into as yet undocumented sections of the core area. Interestingly, purely mechanical systems such as observation robots, monitoring systems, and similar are treated in identical fashion as female subjects by SCP-7980. The deepest sections are known as the core, or womb area. This is the most active area of SCP-7980, with the majority of the rest of the facility appearing to be devoted to its function. The most apparently important area of this section are two massive globular structures of both organic and mechanical material, one showing significant physical damage. Due to the extreme hostile response of SCP-7980 to intruders in this area, testing and data is limited. However, it is theorized that these objects act as gestational and or assembly structures. It is unclear what is intended to be produced by these structures, and the damaged unit appears to have failed or already released whatever was contained within. 
This is an ongoing area of concern, as the unit is capable of holding several megatons worth of overall mass, and the second undamaged unit appears to still be functional. Attempts to determine the composition or nature of what's inside have met with the most extreme and hostile reactions of SCP-7980, but a form of pulse and oscillating electrical charge have been briefly documented. Attempts to determine what, if anything, may have emerged from the second structure have Information control in regards to SCP-7980 is considered to be of paramount importance. The isolated nature of SCP-7980 limits most casual observation and contact, but any information leaks are to be treated as immediate high priority. In addition, info leaks found to be connected to groups of interest, most importantly GOI-01 and GOI-07, are to be treated as absolute priority, with full contact liquidation at all levels if necessary. Doc ARC 269 AC Tablet Transcription Note Document is in an as yet undocumented early form of what is presumed to be Sumerian, also showing elements of extremely early Minoan and archaic Chinese script. Translation is still ongoing, and transcription represents the best estimate translation. The tablet itself is a large rectangular slab, 1.8 meters long, 0.9 meters wide, and 0.3 meters thick. Material appears to be a black, dull metal of unknown composition, with no evidence of tool marks anywhere on the surface. Glyphs appear to have been etched into the surface over a prolonged period, appearing as a dull orange-red in color. Testing has determined them to have been rusted into the surface over a period of several hundred years, utilizing human blood. Long and far from here, before the beginning, the builder of the father of old gods, the womb forge of the unstruck spark, life was made. Soft and hard, wet and dry, it was made in the way of clay and stone. It pleased the beginner of beginnings, for a time. In the way of woman and man, of sun and moon, anger bled and rusted into the world. Soon great eyes and thunder rolled, and hate ate the world. Seas of blood and death, skies of smoke and poison. Death bloomed and swallowed all. Stillness ruled all the land and sky and water. Yet life endured. We speak to you now, the children that will be far and away. Know there is no truth, and the gods lie. All that is, was, or will ever be, is but maggots upon the dead god. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.